Hey, it's Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions, and I'm shooting a video today of our 2001 uh, Dodge Grand Caravan Handicap Accessible Van. Now, as you'll notice, this van is not real pretty. It's old. It's got some miles on it. Uh, it's got the manual ramping door here. I can slide the door open, uh, pull this ramp out here. Got a handle over here. It's a little cockeyed, but I can manage it all with one hand here. What it wants to do is get caught on the uh, weather stripping there, but I just pull it a little bit. Comes right out, folds to the ground. Can wheel your passenger in here. It's got the uh, hard plastic floor, which is nice. It stays clean. Uh, back seat's actually really good shape. Probably rarely been set in. I see a little sagging in the headliner. Uh, passenger front seat's removable. You can see a little bit of rust down there. The dash is in good condition. Got a couple screws in there. Looks like someone had something mounted there before. But Overall pretty clean. Uh, when you've got your passenger tied down, you can come out here and of course put your ramp back up, slide the shut the shut the sliding door. I'm gonna do a quick walk around here. Uh, the body's you know pretty rough condition, got some chip paint, missing paint. One great thing about this van, it's got brand new tires all the way around. Four four brand new tires. Um, it's got some rust down here. As you can see that passenger door doesn't shut quite smoothly. You know, probably been an accident somewhere along the way, but this is a bare bones transportation right here, wheelchair accessible van. You can see some paint chip scratches, a couple dents in that front passenger fender there. So this van's certainly not going to win any any car shows. But if you're looking for transportation to get you or your loved one around, and you don't have much of a budget, this is a van for you to look at shop these vans all the time. To find them for under $3,000 is dang near impossible. The interior on this van is actually pretty clean. Both front seats, hard to believe with this many miles on them. Pretty clean. When I go to start the van up, you can see all the lights that illuminate there. Everything works. The airbag light is on. We haven't checked into why. It's going to stay on. Uh, if the future owner wants to check into that, they're more than welcome to. Miles are at 394,000. It does have high miles. Um, take it on a drive. Uh, power windows work. Radio works. Uh, I thought the radio worked. Okay, the radio does not work. Alright, something that the future owners can look into. The AC does work. I've checked that out. Low's cold AC. It's got the rear air as well. So you can set that for your passenger. But uh, power mirrors, driver's power mirror works, passenger power mirror, that works as well. So uh, I know the miles are high, but you're gonna see it runs and drives pretty nice. We'll take it on the highway. A couple quick things about this van when I start it and it's cold, sometimes it has a little trouble. Uh, it kind of sputters a little bit. You give it a little gas, it gets going fine. Uh, when it warms up, it seems to be just fine. So. A few of the uh, little niches, it, and sometimes when I accelerate when it's cold, it'll sputter a little too. Um, I think it's probably a fuel issue. Um, it's for maybe a clogged filter, I'm not sure, we haven't diagnosed it. Um, but I do, do know this van runs and drives fine, and it generally only does it when it's cold. You know, once it warms up, it seems to run and drive pretty good, so I'll get it on the highway. Okay, last portion of the video, I'm going to take the van on a test drive. Get it down the highway, let you hear the engine run, transmission shift. The rattling you hear in the back is that ramp. Every time I hit a bump or give it a sharp turn, that ramp, that ramp shifts. And this van does sound like it's missing overdrive here, so. I mean, it's to get you around. It's like I said, a bare bones van.